Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian Chase coming at you with another Team Big Red deck profile. Today I wanted to show off a deck I've kind of been working on at the moment. Um, a, a very well-known variant coming out of the Rebel Clash set, um, but definitely a different take on it. Um, and that's a uh, Green's Dragon Ball. Um, I wasn't sold on this concept originally, um, but after playing a bunch of games with the deck, I kind of like just enjoyed the ability to play out of the deck again, um, which we haven't seen past like a top 16 finish at Limitless Call, one of the Limitless Calls with Green Zard. You know, there hasn't been much playing out of the deck. Um, and I just like a deck that can do that. Um, and really, when we, we look at Dragon Ball VMAX, you know, two Psychic Energy 130 and then five damage counters wherever we want on the bench, it really just pairs well um, with the Weezing Roxy combo, uh, allowing us to put two damage counters and draw up to six cards when we just release Weezing. Um, I feel like just the synergy with an entire deck based off of that can utilize Mysterious Treasure, um, Lure Ball, Evolution Incense. The deck just made sense to me. I feel like the counts from there are pretty simple. We're going to be abusing Miss Magus to try to draw our hand up big. Uh, and then eventually, after our opponent has taken uh, a knockout on a Dragon Ball VMAX and a Miss Magus, um, stamp them to low numbers using Reset Stamp. Um, so that's kind of the thinking behind the deck. I was definitely a little... I definitely wanted to play something along the lines of... Uh, custom catcher, but I feel like boss's order is fine here. Normally you end up greensing the customs anyways, um, and wasting your support on that. So with the high Poke gear count and just always having draw outs, thanks to our always drawing and having a big hand, unless you're Marty, you know, you just have a lot of those options to go with. Um, so yeah, I mean, everything else is pretty simple. Um, I guess the one Malamar line in a green deck is kind of confusing. Um, but, I mean, past, like, the early greens, a lot of the time, all you need is the Dragapult, uh, Roxy's, um, and another Dragapult set up. And Malamar is just a one prize Pokemon, uh, that you can utilize after only popping one mismatches. So just keep the prize trade, forcing them to take, basically, essentially, eight knockouts. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of get into a game with the deck, see how it runs here on PTCGO. Um, hopefully can show off that this deck actually surprisingly works. Um, obviously, uh, with the greens deck, uh, you want to go second, um, just to guarantee, like, a turn one energy attachment, um, and set up from there, and hopefully transition into a turn two, um, Roxy with, on the Weezings. So it looks like we're going up against a fire and normal type deck. Um, I don't really know. I'm guessing Mill, maybe. So we're going to be going first. Um, we start the Dragapult, and we kind of set ourselves up pretty well here. So we're probably just going to bench the Mischievous, pop the Dust Stone, and go from there. Yeah, so it looks like we're up against Green Zard, um, which I have not... Uh, so we're just going to do this. Oh, it looks like we're up against Green's... Blacephalon, which is definitely very scary. Um, just play down Power Plant here. Bench the Mischievous. Um, probably just... We're probably just going to Dust Stone into this Magis and not pop it. Um, and then we're just going to pass on. Uh, that seems best to me there, kind of, you know, having a way to draw if he can manage to take the KO here on our Dragon Ball. We're going to see the double Poke Gear pitch. You know, he has a lot of energy to do this. I think it's seven total. There's the Welder. Three cards. Let's see what he gets off this. We're going to see the Fire Attachment go on. Our Pult. Or onto the Blacephalon, my bad. Um, see a Crammy hit the bench. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's 
I mean, if he wins the knockout here, I'm definitely feeling pretty confident. Yeah, so we're just going to see the retreat into the Cramorant. And a pass on to us. Um, so definitely just going to go ahead and evolve into Dragon Ball VMAX. Um, uh, just going to pop the mismatches here, I think. Yep, so we're going to see a straw wheezing. Uh, so yeah, what we're definitely going to want to do here, he has a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, definitely just evolution incense here. Grabbing ourselves another wheezing. Um, and then we're just gonna treasure away a Roxy. Uh, kind of just want to set up an Inke on the bench, I feel like. Because uh, it's a lot easier to hit. Pulse than it is to hit the Inke. Yep, and we're just gonna go in for the Roxy here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put the damage counters where we want to put the damage counters. Um, we're gonna stamp them to five. Uh, that feels fine with me. Stamping a green stack low early feels really good. Um, we're just gonna attach here, and we're gonna go in with the Max Phantom. Attack. Um, and, I mean, if he doesn't bench another Pokemon next turn, we kind of just win the game, which is really good, obviously. Um, we're gonna see the Welder, most likely, on two. Okay, so onto the Cramorant, looks like he's going in for a Beak catch this turn. Yeah, we're gonna see him put the Cephalon, hit the field. Um. I realistically, next turn, like, to... I'd like to Poke Gear. Uh, hit a boss's order, preferably, uh, and take out both Cephalons. Um, that feels best to me right now, uh, unless he goes into a, another Blacephalon, then I feel like that's not an option. We can just take the three prizes. Yeah, so we're gonna see another Blacephalon in the field. Although, if we do hit boss orders, I'm probably gonna... Yeah, so he's gonna beat Catch here. Um, leaving Kramer in the active, putting the Lucky Egg, hoping that we will... Um, hoping that we will whiff. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna thin the deck real quick, get ourselves out a, I think just another v, uh, Dragapult here is fine. We're gonna evolve into Malamar. We're gonna evolve into a Dragapult, and then we are going to Poke Gear. Um, just take this. Um, and it looks like we're just gonna have to max man here. That was definitely a misplay on my part going into the Malamar so soon, because I'm gonna get Um, it's fine though. Taking, taking a big, big knockout here. Hitting the switch, kind of get kind of lucked out there with those surprise draws. Um, Okay, so we're gonna see the Ultra Space next turn. If he knocks out our Um so we see the Blown come down. Alright. See the Green's exploration. So it looks like he just completely Um is gonna whiff the KO here. For double crystal. Looking to set up next turn for sure. Oh the beast ring, my bad. Um that's a thing. Yeah, so he's definitely going to be taking the knockout here. Let's see, double crystal. You know, we're definitely punished because I evolved into Malamar there. Granted, I mean, if I took the time there, I would have had the extra turn. He's going to get a whole bunch of energy in play here. It's gonna take a lot of energy next turn for him to finish off this game either way. Uh, but it still feels bad that I evolved into Malamar. So soon. Huh. So he benches the big blown. To the fire crystal. How many energy does this deck play? Like I 
He needs to obviously do a whole bunch of damage. We're going to see the energy attachment onto the big blown. Um, so we're just going to promote Malamar, set our way up for... Just a yeah, so that's a lot of energy going into the discard. He's going to take three prizes. So that's seven energy, 10, 11, two crystals down. Um, we're going to see the Lure Ball, which could be, real quick, we're going to Ultra Space, see what we have in deck. Um, I'd like to hit a Lure Ball and then Roxy our way into... So, wait, let's... Let's Energy Spinner first, just get it out of the deck. Uh, then we're going to Lure Ball. See the heads, heads, tails. Grab ourselves two of these bad boys. Uh, grab this. We're gonna Roxy here. Um, yep, we're gonna do that. Um, so, I think we just Psychic Recharge and then switch into our boy. Um, uh, I don't think we bench anything else here. I think we honestly just go into the Max Phantom. Um, and I definitely want to set up Knockout here. Um, I don't think we, we don't have to put anything else there. Uh, if we put... Yeah, that actually could set up numbers. I don't really care about the small clown. Like, if he does somehow... If he does somehow have it this turn, I just don't understand how he could. Um, two crystal, ten energy, and discard. Yeah, so we're gonna see the big blound come up. Ten energy and discard. How many does this deck play? What, 14? So four. And then double crystal. He would need he would need access to all. If he played 14 energy, he need access to all his energy. We're gonna see the welder come out. Um, yeah, so we're so going to see the Victini come down. Is he going to go in for a Bursting? I think he might be going in for a Bursting burn here. Um, see the Fire Crystal. And just kind of stall us, because then he would have game the next turn uh, if we whiffed it. But we do have game in hand right now. Yep, so we're going to see the Bursting burn. Uh, burned and confused. So we are not burned anymore, but he did set us up very well there. Uh, we're going to retreat into this, getting rid of this. Uh, we're going to Psychic Recharge um, onto the Pult. Um, yeah, and then we have Palomon in hand for game. Um, definitely a misplay error. Uh, just throwing that Malamore down, but we still ended up winning what feels like a kind of neg match up there. Um, so we'll get one more game in with the deck. Um, so we're going to see Metal, Psychic, Dark, Lightning. I feel like I see that combo a lot. Go Tails. I lost the coin flip. Let's see where we go first or second. It is our opponent's turn. Um, so we start Mischievous here. I actually don't hate this at all, to be honest. As long as Dust Stone is in the deck, I really like this hand. Um, yeah, so we're just going to see an Intrepid Sword here. Looks like we're playing against ADP Z, if I had to guess. Um, that's a Malamar. So we're just going to Greens here. So Dust Stone is in the deck, and then I think we just grab a Treasure. Seems fine with me, right? Yeah. So I do not think we want to bench Inke this game. I think we can set up manually. We have the time to do so. So we can just get rid of 
finale. Grab ourselves a pult. Dust stone. Oh dang. This magus. Throw in the psychic there, and I think we can go into plant already. Um, and then we're going to mysterious message. A lot of cards, or even the stamp. I mean, granted, if you can somehow pull off the knockout this turn, uh, we could bench the Inke, but I feel like if our pull here is knocked out, either way, we lose. So I'm just gonna go into the bite. So our opponent cannot respond. Um, it feels fine to me. Two Zacian. See the metal go into the Zacian on the bench and then a research. So it looks like we're going against a Luke Metal Zacian. Which doesn't feel like a great matchup, if I'm being honest. But it doesn't feel, you know, unwinnable. See the metal go away. And if you had double metal uh, double metal patch switch here, it could very well be the end of our game. But most likely not looking like that. Five cards in the camera to see if it's a Dene. I wonder if he has the stadium bump to go along with that. Power plant isn't played much anymore. He does have the stadium bump. Though. See the Dabachi come down. See, so yeah, we can actually bench the Inkay next turn now that we know we're against Blue Metal Zacian and not ADP Zacian. I guess as long as he whips the KO here. Obviously. Which again, if he hit it, like, good for him. We're gonna see the metal patch, five cards in hand. It's the metal patch switch, he wins the game. There's the metal patch, wow. Wow. Does he? Is he memeing us? Does he have it? Okay. Does not have it. I don't know what that was about. And then, um, we're gonna lure ball. Idoki. Or a jokey. I'm gonna lure ball again. Okay, okay. Cool. Uh, just grab ourselves. Both of these guys, we're going to gear, hit a greens. Which I'm fine with. Uh, we're gonna greens our way into energy spinner. Um, and probably just a Roxy's for next turn. We're not getting KO'd. Let's throw this down. An energy spinner. Throw it on, and we're gonna max in. Probably putting. Um, I feel like we just have to go after the Zacian here. I'm just gonna put five on Zacian. Um, and set up KOs that way. Next turn we have a, gonna have a pretty good Roxy play. Um, since he went straight into Zacian. You know, his lack of Luke Metal on the field feels good for us. I mean, even if he puts down the pan, we're gonna see the switch. Go. Got it. Um, so this turn, I think we're just gonna Roxy, getting rid of Weezing and Miss Magis. Um,. Yep, we're gonna do that. Um, we don't have an out to greens in our hand. I'd rather just set up a second pulp here. So we're gonna get rid of the psychic. 
Grabbing ourselves a Dragon Ball. Uh, throwing that bad boy down. Attaching a Horror Energy. Evolving. Using Psychic Recharge. We're going to be knocking out this Zacian on the bench and putting this Zacian next turn so we can boss's order, kill the Dedene and the Zacian um, for game. Um, I don't think Stamp is necessary here. He's kind of been drawing awkwardly. We're going to max mana. Here we go. Seems good. Seems good. Good deck. So we hit the greens, even though we played the Malamar. Everything I'm fine with that. And this Twin Scrapper, like, unless he Marnies us here with Zacian in the active, um, feels good for us. Um, it's kind of a long video, so this will be the last one. Yep, so he's going to switch. He's definitely... Yeah, so he researches. So I don't think Luke Metal Zacian plays Stamp. I don't test the deck much. Um, if it does, then, you know, whatever. I mean, four, we still get four cards. Like, it's not like we're... That's what I love, like about green decks. Um, early game, you're not really... If you play at the correct pace, um, not really stamp prone. So we see a labs hit the field, which means... I don't know what he's intending to do there. Labs. Um, I guess he just whipped the frying pan. I don't even know. Why would that be in the deck? Am I missing something? No. Um, so we're just going to promote this and win the game here. Really solid. Let's see the Dragon Ball Max. We're going to lie or boss's order. Same thing. Um, and Max Phantom. Winning the game. Kind of proving the strength of... Roxy's Pult. I really like this deck. I think it's a good play. Um, I think it has a lot of really good matchups. Just the extra damage control of Weezing um, is really solid. Uh, so I definitely recommend giving it a try, having fun. I don't know if my list is perfect yet. I, I've been working on it in a decent amount. But um, I think it's a good place to start. Um, so if you want to play some Roxy's Pult, which I think is a really solid deck, go for it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.